Pops and Nana from livingcooper.com with a Nana so crafty. We had a new grandson a few months ago now and I wanted to get him a baby shopping cart hammock and we decided we'd try to make one ourselves and it turned into a challenge. Pops has ver his version, I have my version. So just follow along, see how we did it. If you want more details, check the blog at livingcooper.com and watch how we make them. Okay, y'all, y'all watched uh, Nana made her version of the Binksy baby shopping cart hammock. And when she was working on hers, coming up with this pattern and everything, I thought, I'm gonna try to make one of these. I think I can make it a little simpler using some lycra spandex and some nylon strapping and a little nylon buckle, some S beaners, some paracord pop top and some button toggles and that's the supplies and I'll use a little silver sharpie so I can write on the black and you'll be able to see it. Stick pins, a little blowtorch so I can uh, melt the ends of the paracord, some scissors and sew machine. I've never sewn before so this will be an experience but Nana, Nana hooked it up for me. She made a bobbin and set it all up and one thing the lady told us at, at Hobby Lobby when you're sewing lycra You've got to use a ballpoint needle. So, uh, so we switched the needle, put a ballpoint needle in there, and also got some some little rulers. And this is this is my simulated shopping cart that I'm going to use. It's about the same width as a Walmart shopping cart, so we're going to use that. Got Nana's uh, mocha frappe. Check out that video. So we're going to do that. So let's get started. We're going to start with our fabric. And I bought two yards of this lycra. And I don't know that I'm going to need two yards. I'm, I'm pretty sure I won't. So here's my plan. I plan on doubling this and sewing a tube once I figure out how wide I want to make this thing. I'm thinking if we sew this lengthwise like this, I think that should be wide enough right there. It should be wide enough. So we'll sew this lengthwise and make a tube out of it. And that way that'll give a little more structure to the to the lycra spandex versus just having a single layer. It'll give it a little more strength. So I think I'm gonna do that. Now, like I said, I've never sewn before. So this is gonna be an experience. But I think before I sew it, I need to think about how long I wanna make it so I don't sew a lot more than I need to. Let's look at our simulated shopping cart. So when Nana was making hers, when she started making hers, she measured the width of the shopping cart at Walmart and we had this box, she measured it and, and it was about the same. So let's see what we got. We got this measured fabric and this is about 20 inches wide. So if that's about 20 inches wide, I think what we'll do is we'll make our Binksy, about let's call it a, a Popsy, we'll make our Popsy hammock 24 inches, not wide, but long. So it'll be 24 inches and cover the whole basket here. Now, I'm just talking about a rough cut, it'll be 24 inches. Obviously, uh, after we sew everything and hem everything up, it's gonna be a little bit less than 24 inches. So this ruler here is 24 inches, roughly 24 inches right here. Got our little silver Sharpie, we'll put a mark right here. And here's 24 right here. So we made that 24 inches there. All right, so there's 24 inches. So really, we didn't even need two yards. So that's going to be wind up being probably 17 and a half when I get through sewing. So we'll make this tube about 17 and a half. And you got to remember this is lycra, so it's going to stretch. So even though it's 17 and a half, I think we're still good to go. With this design, we'll be able to stretch it to how we need to fit it. So we're just going to go with this. First thing we got to do is we got to pin this thing up. So I'm, I'm going to run some pins along here, kind of in a straight line. Now let's repin it along the line here. Or actually, I guess we need to be just to one side or the other of the line if we're going to sew on the line. Okay, let's sew this thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can sew this thing up. Okay, y'all, here we go. Let's stick this in the machine here. Put the foot down. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Okay, there we go. You guys probably can't see that too well. So I got a crisscross stitch going right there. Let's turn this thing inside out and see what it looks like here. Or right side out, technically. Doesn't look too bad. Now let's go back over here and move on to our next step. 
we figure that out as we go. I'm just kind of winging this whole deal. So now, basically what I want to do is I want to take my paracord and I want to build a pin or a seam or whatever they call it where it will enclose my paracord. And I'm going to take my paracord, use these uh, Night Eyes s beater with a slide block, which I really like for this application. So what I like about these is, oh there I think we got it, is they have a little slide lock. So that little slide lock, we can push it up like that and then we can open the s meter. And when it's in the lock position, you can't open it. So this is nice, so when we get connected, we can lock those in place so that we don't have to worry about those coming loose. So it's pretty nice. So I got four of these and we're gonna use four of these. So in order to connect our s meter to our bear cord, I think what I'm going to do is use a bowline knot. So that's that's what it looks like right here. Let's see if we can get that thing to focus. There it is. Just like that. Columbia Fashion Line, Design Line, whatever you want to call it. They have a pretty good app called uh, What Knot, and it'll take you step by step on how to how to tie that knot right there. So you might check that out. Okay, so that's our knot. I'm going to tie these on both ends of my string for our S beater. We'll unlock it there and then we'll go on here like so and I will make it just so that it comes underneath just inside my hemline right here like this so we'll go ahead and then I'll go ahead and tie these and then I'll get right back with you all right so I got my four pair of cord two with s meters and two with toggles those are all cut and tied with the Yosemite bowline knot now I'm going to make a, a sleeve in the lycra. So to make the sleeve, I'll start by closing in the end of my lycra tube. I'll do that by folding in the cut edges to the inside so it's a nice clean edge. Then I'll go and I'll pin that real good. Once I get the end all pinned shut, then I'll go ahead and sew it using the crossed stitch that is made for this type of fabric. I'll sew close to the end there so that way the end of the tube has a finished look to it. All right, the next thing I'm going to do to make the sleeve is I'm going to take a dowel rod and use it, form the sleeve around, fold enough fabric over the dowel so that when we pin it down, the pressure foot will ride on top of that fabric, sewing down the end back to the main part of the fabric and creating our sleeve for the paracord to slip through. As you can see here, I ran the fabric through the machine a couple of times. So I wanted to make sure I had a good strong stitch. After all, my grandson is going to be in this thing. Okay, let's thread two paracord ropes through the sleeve, one with a toggle and one without. Once we get it through the through the sleeve, we'll be able to put S-beaners on both ends and we'll be finished with this side. That's done. Now we'll just repeat the process for the other end of the popsy, and then the main part of the popsy will be finished, and we'll just have to worry about the seatbelt. You may be wondering why I put toggles on the hammock as well as S-beaners. Well, not every basket has holes big enough for the S-beaners to go into, so we use toggles, like this. And this. Okay, on to the seatbelt. First thing I'm going to do here is sew the receive end of the buckle onto my seatbelt strap. I decided to make my seatbelt a continuous strap that goes around the baby and goes through holes in the seat itself. Here I'm figuring out where I want to place the holes for the seatbelt strap to go through. On my design, I'm putting four holes, one on each side and one on each end. That way I can use this hammock in either direction. There will be a continuous strap for the seatbelt and then there will be a strap that will go between the legs and connect to the seatbelt as well. Once I figured out where I wanted to put the holes, then I drew a line about an inch and a quarter long and I sewed around it with a button hole style stitch and then cut the center out that way I could slip my buckle through through the holes and continue the strap all the way around the baby. Okay I'm going to sew around my markings a couple of times to add strength to where I want to make the holes in my hammock seat and then once I get those sewn I will go ahead and cut them out. 
Ah, sorry, I forgot to change the camera angle. Here I'm cutting out the holes and then I'm going to thread the seat belt through them. Now, just like that, the two holes that run parallel to the sides are complete and I just have to repeat the process and do the two holes that run parallel to the ends. Now that all four holes are done, I gotta thread my seat belt through them and figure out how long I wanna make my seat belt strap as well as figure out how long I need to make the strap that goes between the legs. As you can see, I did not make the seat belt or the strap between the legs an exact length because I had belt buckles that can be adjusted. So I have a little play in there. So if we need to cinch the belt buckle tighter or the leg strap a little tighter, we can do that. And voila, it's done. Now all we gotta do is take it and put it in a basket and try it out. Well, Nana used my S meters, but that's okay because we got toggles. So we're going to put this Popsy on with toggles. So to put this on, it's pretty straightforward. Just take and stretch your paracord strings taut and put the toggle through the loop that would normally hold the S meter. And there you go, it's nice and tight. You can see that the C belt, you can change position from one direction to the other. And then just stick the baby in, buckle them in, cinch down the and you're good to go. Keep in mind here that a real baby is going to make this lycra spandex sink way down. It's not going to be floating on top like baby Lizzie here. Alright y'all, it's done. Pops has his reversible convertible. Put baby Lizzie both ways. Anna's got her sink the baby in nice and secure and deep. Rock a little. Look in our blog. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned some ideas. Leave us some comments. Let us know what you think and how we can improve it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Check out our channel. Please like, share, subscribe. Like Nana said, leave us some comments, some good comments. We appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Keep watching.